and gave him another edict, another law. Not to reverse that law, but to overrule it. Mm. But to actually have something that the Jews can use. So they created an edict that the Jews will have an opportunity to defend themselves. <coughs> Anyone who's going to attack them. Mm. You can take your plunder, you can take the women and children, you take whoever's attacking you, you take their estate, their property, their lot, everything. You can take it. And so it happened. The actual law of the first law of the annihilation of the Jews happened. And because of this, they were able to defend themselves successfully. They killed about 500 plus men, but they didn't take the plunder. It's so good, it's so fitting that we sometimes defend ourselves. We are allowed to defend ourselves, but we don't necessarily have to take the plunder. Meaning, yes, we can stand tall in our faith. Yes, we can win those battles. Doesn't mean that you have to be arrogant about it. Right. Doesn't mean that you have to be. You have to stand here and brag about it. Let God do the bragging for you. Right. Let God do the talking for you. And what I want to finish off is God is always in control. Right. Amen. That Amen. every situation every struggle that we face God is always in control every problem every obstacle every hardship every burden we may not feel him we may not see him but God is there Correct. God is always in control we learn from Esther risking her life to talk to the king. Being offered half the kingdom, seen as a hero. We see Mordecai condemned to death, willing to take that chance. Became the highest, the second highest ranking official to the Medo Persian. No matter how hopeless, our condition is, no matter how hopeless our struggle is, don't give up. Right. God is there for us. Amen. God is always in control. God weaves together our lives. God puts the patterns together, and even though we don't see them, He is turning it out for the better of our life. We never ask for a reward. We never ask for any compliments. We just got to do the right thing, church. Yes, our struggle is real. Yes, what we face on a day-to-day -day basis, on a weekly basis, seems so overwhelming. And that's our reality, church. But let me tell you something. God's sovereignty is bigger than our reality. Yes. God's sovereignty is bigger than our reality. And our reality is in Jesus. Hallelujah. So I'll ask the praise and worship team to sing that last song. And I just want us to worship. It's time for us to just worship. Know that even though we face these struggles every day, even though we face these struggles weekly, monthly, annually, let me tell you something, God is always in control. God is behind the scenes working it. God is behind the scenes fixing everything. It may seem hopeless. God puts that hope.
When we come to face our struggle, it may seem hopeless. When the Bible says we glory in our suffering, we glory in our struggle, because our struggle produces perseverance, and perseverance produces character, and character produces hope. Sunday, I can go on vacation. <laughs> 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 Jesse, 
Si Kuma pala po. Para gusto talaga ako magpakasin. <laughs> Let us continue to worship God as we give our tithes and our offering to God. What we call on me and... <laughs> you can pray <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you, Lord. Uh, we are so blessed, God, with your revelations, with your guidance, with everything that we've received today, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that amidst the struggle, you are our reality. Yeah. <laughs> I like how Coach Ken said, our God's sovereignty is um, our reality. So whatever it is that we're going through, I know God you will provide. I know God that it is you who I can count on always. And always God, your best interest is for us. I know God that with everything that we give right now, um, it's not even enough to compare to whatever you've already given us. And I know God that you will continue to provide, continue to give, continue to bless, continue to honor our tithes and offering, our missions, and whatever we lay our hands on to Lord, whatever work we give out to this church, I know you will bless Lord God, but this is for you, not for us God, we glorify you because of this Lord, this is for you God, may you use it for your glory and your glory alone Lord, for the expansion of your kingdom, for your truth to be known, all the ends of the earth God, this is for you. And I know, God, that you will continue to use us, hope for the world, as channels of your blessings to others. Because we give ourselves to you, God. We offer ourselves to you, God. And we declare that you control everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, 
Sudah mainnya. Mandi mandi lah mandi lah. The favorite doctor. Number twenty. You are a beast. October 21, we have Inigo Suarez. October 29, Maynard Cavallon and Matilda. The original Gopi. October 30, Angelo Jones. But God has brought these people to our lives. Amen. Relationship is one of God's biggest blessings. So let us pray that God will continue to whatever is in their heart. God will even exceed it. God is the God that exceeds our expectation. As we pray, Father God, we you don't only add years to their lives, but you add life to their years. Blessed life. Lord, we pray, be closer to them more than ever before. And whatever desire they may have in their lives, we pray that you exceed it according to the heavy loads of your grace and your mercies. And I pray, Father God, that, they, that their lives may continue to shine and the people of the world may see that the God that they believe in is the only true and living God. Amen. And Lord, we also pray for our uh, couple who celebrates their anniversary. Lord, continue to let their relationship be a lighthouse to many couples that Jesus being the center of marriage provides the best married life ever. And Lord, we, we just want to thank you because you have brought these people not only as church members, but as members of our family, the Hope family. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Blame it on me, as always. Okay, so let us all stand up. You know, I, 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 I was so blessed that when Eunice was about to end her sermon last week, and Coach Cam was about to end his sermon this week, they all speak about worship for a cost 2018. The struggle is real. How can we repeat that? How can we even... It's the bar keep on rising up, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. You know? But, but then again, God is faithful. Right. You know, this year, we have lined up the pastoral staff met last Sunday, and we have outlined our projects for worship or a cause. We're building five church toilets to five tribal church in the mountains. They don't have any toilets. We will be providing and blessing them with church toilets. Five. Not only one, but five. We will be providing medical insurances to tribal, 20 tribal pastors. They don't have any medical insurance. When they get sick, they just pray. Well, that's good. 
But on top of their prayers now, we will be covering them medically for one year. Amen. Isn't that great? Yes. Yeah. Now, we will be providing Hope Medical Kit. It's like a big box of mini pharmacy to our tribal, about 25 tribal churches in the mountains of Davao and Agusan del Norte, Agusan del Sur. You know, when you get sick in the mountains, you just call the ambularios or or you, they don't know what to do. But we will be providing our churches over there with a, we call it Hope Medical Kit. When the villagers get sick, they don't have any hospitals, they will go to Hope for the World Church. Yes. And get some medications from the pastor. Of course, some basic medications. We'll be holding a pastoral conference in Butuan. We're expecting about 100 pastors. Our church pastor from Kuwait will be coming to be one of our speakers Whoa. in our church conference. So these are we have gift givings to five locations now. It's getting bigger. Davao, Bulacan, Tagum, Butuan, Cavite. No, not in Kuwait. And the Sabiko, Cavite, Bulacan, five. We'll be giving them hundreds bags of groceries. We don't know yet how much, how many. To make hundreds of families happier this Christmas season. We are busy people, not for ourselves, this coming Christmas season. We're, be, we're not busy. We're not even planning for our Christmas party yet. And I believe God will honor our faith. God will honor our heart. And God will do it again, even in a greater Amen. way. Amen? Amen. Sabi nga ni Coach Ken, the struggle is real. But God is more real. <laughs> Amen? Amen? I follow you close this in prayer. See, I've not been speaking for two weeks, so I, when I hold on the mic, I speak a lot. Right? <laughs> no? Let's <laughs> bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear Lord God, Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for this day. Lord, thank you for this beautiful Sunday that you've given us. Lord, thank you for each and every one of us who's here today. Lord, um, you said that if we seek you first, everything will be given unto you, oh God. Lord, we will seek you, Lord, in, in, this, in, in, in this event, Lord, in this program, Lord, for worship for a cause, we seek you first. Yes. Lord, we will seek you for any provision, Lord, any... Anything Lord, that, that needs to be done, Lord, you will provide. Lord, we will just remain faithful and declare your faithfulness, O oh God. And that you just be with us, Lord, as we as we prepare, Lord, for another great undertaking in your name. Lord, this is not for us. It's not for anyone else. But it's for you. It's for your people that you love, that you created, O oh God. I pray that you be with us today, Lord, and, and bless the food that we're about to partake. Um, bless the hands to prepare the food and I pray that you just be with us continue to be with us today oh God and as we go about our day and uh, bring us here again safely um, next week oh God and may we just enjoy our fellowship in Jesus name I pray